Get ready to embark on a shopping journey like no other as I unveil the latest and the greatest from Big W. From trendy fashion picks to innovative gadgets, home essentials and lots more. This haul is packed with must-have items that are turning heads. Join me as I dive into the world of Big W and discover the freshest arrivals that are making waves right now. Let's dive in and explore together. Today is the day I am biting a bullet and buying this outfit. The orange is calling out to me and I have no self-control. Plus, I am doing this for you as research and more about this later. Last time I was in store, I didn't buy these sweaters and I've been kicking myself for not buying them. But today the universe has spoken, they're half price, so there's no excuse. The makeup and skincare section is overflowing with bright tickets. Everything seems to be on sale, but it's not the day for makeup today. I need to do another makeup declutter before I buy anything else. However, if you're needing to top up on some products, now is the time to do it. There's loads of sales on at the moment, specifically on winter clothes. Today, these are all so well discounted. Hopefully, you've managed to snap up some bargains in your store. I'm not sure all these will still be available by the time this video goes up. So good luck and let me know in the comments below if you snapped yourself a bargain. items I'd seen online that I wanted to see in person that just weren't there or maybe I'm still new to the layout and haven't found my way to them. More reasons to get back in store and familiarize myself with the layout next time. And now we come to the Big W Hall section. Last time I uploaded my comparison video between Kmart and Big W, many of you had mentioned that you do shop at both. However, many of you did mention that you like to shop at Big W because you find the clothing at Big W better quality than the ones at Kmart. And you also prefer to shop at Big W because you prefer the makeup, which I can totally get because the last few times that I've been going to Kmart and looking at their beauty section, it's been quite bare. Whereas when I did pop into Big W and looked at the beauty section, it was shocking because there were so many discounted products, so many quality brands that were having 30-40% off. So it looked like a shopper's paradise when it came to beauty products at Big W compared to Kmart. However, it got me thinking that perhaps I should do a bit of a shop haul at Big W and see for myself whether the clothing items are actually better or comparable to Kmart. And with that in mind, I did do a little bit of damage and buy a couple of items. So let me show you what I started off with. The first thing is not very exciting. I'll talk about this a little bit later. But the items that I actually was very impressed about buying, and let me put this on the ground so that I don't keep making crinkly sounds for you. Last time I was at Big W, I saw that they had these gorgeous sweaters and they were $30 each. And I didn't buy them because I wasn't on a shopping expedition. I was on a reconnaissance expedition where I was just checking what Big W looked like compared to Kmart. And so I was very controlled and I didn't buy these sweaters. However, the next time I popped into Big W, 
lo and behold, what did I find? That Big W had them on sale for 50% off. I saw that as a sign from above. <laughs> that I needed to get those sweaters now. So I didn't hold back. When you can buy two for the price of one, why don't you buy two, right? Anyway, that's how my mind thinks. So I bought two. I bought the cream one, the cream sweater. Let me open that up for you. This is the California one with the American Eagle, I think it is. And I love the pop of orange in the writing there because I think that that would go perfectly with any orange that you have in your wardrobe. And I'm thinking about the next few items that are coming out. So be patient. I will show them to you. So anyway, so I bought this sweater because I actually love it. I just love the colors. I love how neutral it is and how versatile it is. I can wear this with cream. I can wear it with white because it's got white writing. I can wear it with gray because it's got pockets of gray in it. I can wear it with black because it's got black in it. And I can wear it with orange because it's got pops of orange. So I think this is a gorgeous sweater to wear with practically anything that's in my wardrobe at the moment. So I got this in a size medium because they are quite oversized. But having said that, the next one I had to get in XL because it didn't come in a medium or actually no, it did come in a medium regionally, but it wasn't available at my store when I was there in a medium and I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity of buying them at half price. So I bought this in an XL, which is fine. I love the way they sit even when they are oversized. They just feel so cuddly and snuggly and warm. And what I liked about these sweaters was that they actually had already the weathered look inside so i just had that authentic old look about them that i think is quite on trend at the moment i think i could wear this with just blue jeans and a white t-shirt underneath i think a pop of white through the collar would make it would make it a little bit more interesting but even without that this would look cute even with perhaps a bit of a pink scarf around it to pick up the pink writing of long beach on it this is so versatile. I can see myself wearing it soon. And the reason why I did want to also pop into Big W today was because, as mentioned, many of you have said that you like the clothing at Big W over the clothing at Kmart. And because I've been popping into all these stores recently, I noticed that there are a few items that are common to all the three stores, Kmart, Big W and Target at the moment are all selling very similar items of clothing. So I thought I'd buy one each from all the different stores, starting from Big W. I bought the orange set. Well, it's not a set. It's only a set because you make it a set. I mean, you could mix and match it with all the other colors, but I decided to make mine a set by buying the top in orange and the bottom in orange too. So I bought the short sleeved orange top. This also comes in a tank sleeveless top, which I saw in store, but I decided to buy this with the sleeves just so that it feels more comfortable covering those top sections of my arm that I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious about. I love the round neck of it. It just seems to be a little bit more flattering on me. Lately, I'm finding it difficult to wear v-necks they don't seem to suit me as well as they used to when i was younger ladies of my age do you find that you're now leaning towards a different cut of neck tops uh now that you're a little bit older or you haven't found that that differs much um for me i find that a v-neck doesn't seem to be as flattering on my neck as a round neck does and perhaps actually a, a high neck is probably better to cover this turkey neck that i'm developing Anyway, another story. I did buy the orange top from Big W. I love the look of this. I love the way the pattern has got the wider ribbing at the top and then the narrow ribbing at the bottom, but it's not fitted on the body as some of the other items that I have seen in other stores. So I bought the top in short sleeves and I bought the matching skirt. Now this also does come at Big W in that beautiful blue. Um, that I thought I'd give a miss because I believe I bought a dress from Kmart in that color that perhaps is going to be coming up in the next video after this. Anyway, I bought the orange skirt. I love the skirt. I bought the skirt in a large because I prefer it to sit a little bit more loosely. Uh, if you're a pear shaped like me, ladies, then you'll know the dilemma that I have where I have to wear one particular size on top and then a larger size at the bottom. But never mind, it's good when you buy individual items because you can do that by a smaller size for the top and a larger size for the bottom. So the bottom is a medium and the top the bottom is a large and the top is a medium and I'm turning that into a set. The skirt doesn't have any slits on the side. It is one whole tube, two separate panels, but one whole 
one tube. Does that make sense? It's just one long skirt with no slits on the side, but it's loose enough and stretched enough that it's not going to be uncomfortable in walking in them. And I can see myself wearing this outfit. I have a candle burning on my desk and I quickly just flipped my clothes on it and the skirt just covered the candle. Luckily it didn't catch on fire, but I do have to be careful. Oops. Okay, what was I saying? Yes, I will be starting this in an upcoming video and showing you the comparison between the three different suits and different stores. So look out for that coming up in the next week or so. And then the last item that I purchased is this memory foam neck pillow. My husband is traveling to the US in a few weeks and I'm going to be lucky enough to go as his plus one. We're going to New York flying via San Francisco direct. So it's going to be a 14 or a 17 hour flight direct which is going to be really long and on those long flights I like to take a sleeping pill and just go to sleep so that I can wake up refreshed at the other end but I always find that on planes we travel economy so if you travel economy you know how squishy all the seats are how there's no rest um, for the head so I bought this memory foam and neck pillow to help me in being able to get more of a restful sleep on a plane without waking up with a sore stiff neck and what I liked about this memory foam pillow is that a it is memory foam so it does adjust and curve to your neck and shoulder needs but it also has a zipper on the back that enables you to take the covering off when it does get dirty and sweaty from all the traveling and also just from being thrown on the floor on the plane and around airports you can actually take it off and clean it so that for the next time you're traveling it's nice and clean again so i like that it's a lot easier to use than i make it look like i like that it's got the toggles at the front at the front so you can make it tighter or looser as you need it so you can tie up a uh, you can tie it around your neck and then just hold it in place so that it doesn't come undone i like that and I like how soft and foamy and um, it's got like a, a velvet finish to it. So it's really nice and soft against the skin. Anyway, and that was it. That's all I bought at Big W. Let me know if you do shop at Big W against Kmart. What do you shop predominantly more at Big W than compared to Kmart? Many of you have told me that you like to shop at Big W because you like the beauty section and I can totally get that. Many of you have also told me that you like to shop at Big W because of the soap, the detergents, they're really handy and quite well priced. And many of you have also told me that you prefer to shop at Kmart when it comes to storage because Kmart has a bigger variety of storage. I'd like to do a comparison between the two. Let me know in the comments below which one do you think you'd like more as a comparison, the beauty section, the decor section, the storage section. I'm up for an adventure and to test and try something new. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.